Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is so exciting. So this is my first drive with me in this car. This is not a drive with me. I'm just starting off in the car because I'm off back to uni today. So I'm about to set off back to Nottingham. So I'm going to do a day in a life of a uni student. I'm just going to go to Starbucks drive through because I have worked a little bit this morning and I haven't actually had anything to eat. I haven't seen my uni friend since December, start of December, which is mad because it's March. So I'm seeing Chloe tonight. So basically the plan for today is get to Nottingham for about um, half 12-ish. And then I've got a revision session for, I don't know actually how long it is, but it's one till whenever on anatomy and physiology, which I really needed to go to. So I could have just gone back tomorrow, but I was like, you know what? I really need to go to this revision session. I don't know whether I'm gonna go into Nottingham city centre for a little shop because I haven't, because like, I don't go shopping in Leeds really. I go shopping in Nottingham because I have nothing else to do when I'm at uni. Or either go on a little food shop. Either one, I don't mind. But me and Chloe are gonna go for a bag of mamas tonight. We need a huge catch up session. Oh God, red light, red light, red light, red light. But I hope you guys enjoyed my last video. So I do feel like I was a little bit host, not host, is hostile the word? It's because when I film with Harrison, I get so nervous and I just don't wanna act like, like I feel like now I'm being like quite, what's the word just like upbeat and like really in my zone but when i've got other people i do tend to just like a little bit because i just get nervous and i get i feel like i'm being judged basically which is so bad because i'm always on about like just do it like confidence which i am confident but no, not everyone's like overly confident and I wouldn't say I'm like overly confident I'd just say I do what I do to make me happy which is YouTube and I'm so happy that I'm back I came home from placement I was so ill like I haven't been that ill in so long I had the worst sickness bug I haven't had a sickness bug since I was probably about five I think I was sick every half an hour it was horrendous and then to top that off I thought it had gone went for a huge nando's when i started to feel better like i actually lost my appetite for about two days so on a saturday night i went for nando's I had the new loaded fries they were banging felt absolutely horrendous again i felt sick like i felt like i was gonna be sick and i was like please no because i do not like being sick like honestly the fear that goes to my body luckily i wasn't sick and i actually started to feel a lot better so I ended up going to ikea and as the home and got some bits of my room got a new bed but i'm kind of just starting to change my room from the room i had when i was 12 to like the room i want now for the next couple of years love island if you've been watching love island at the moment like my opinion changes every few episodes can i just say i nearly got on a plane and went down to south africa i'm not even joking i felt so bad for poor ron i'm baffled how is jesse sitting there calling ron behind his back to your face when literally a few days ago everyone was slating olivia for doing it to jesse but now she's doing it and everyone else is doing it to ron and that's what i don't understand like i didn't love olivia but like you've Practice what you preach, do you know what I mean? Do you want to push over the arm? Do you want to push over the arm? Um, no. What can I get for you today? Um, can I just get a regular iced white mocha, please, with hazelnut? Yeah. Iced white mocha, hazelnut syrup. Do you want, um, the cream on it still? Um, no, thank you. Uh, anything else? No, that's everything. No, we should try something for dinner. Thank, thank you. you. Right? Thank you. There you go. Have a nice day. Thanks, you, you too. It needs a good mix, guys. Oh my god! I just swallowed it. It went straight down. Now I just need to mix this because some people are like, because when I used to work in Dunkin', you have to put the syrup with the coffee so it mixes together. So if you put it in with the milk, then the syrup sinks to the bottom. If you can see all the syrups in there now. So I'm gonna drive to Nottingham and I'll see you guys when I finish my lecture. Right, so I've been to my revision session and decided to drive into Nottingham City Centre because I just can't get on that 45 minute bus when it takes 10 minutes to drive in. I'm in a car park and it's so dark. That's why the lighting is horrific. Um, but I'm gonna go and have a little browse around. I haven't been to the centre in ages. I'm gonna show you what I get when I get back. I'm back 
in my uni accommodation. I cannot stress enough how painful this last 15, 20 minutes was in my life. I park quite far away from the uni because everywhere around his permit and I had my Primark bag and two really heavy bags with all my stuff in, which I don't know how I did it. I think my Primark bag actually snapped. But I went to Primark and got a few bits. I also went to Superdrug, but then I stopped myself from going anywhere else because I was like, mm -mm. But I'm going to show you what I got because I actually get quite a lot of stuff, just like little bits. So I said I was going there for a gel brush. So I did get one. It's not as I expected. It's a little bit, it looks a little bit like bad quality. We'll see how it works tomorrow. It was literally one pound, so... I was just going to try it anyway. Then, just for a little bit of fun, I got these, which were £2. They're like little clips, so if I put my hair like back in little bunches, like half up, half down, I could just put these in. I don't know if I'm going to use them. I don't know if they'll look stupid. Then, I got these little headbands. Not headbands, like hairbands, hair ties. Then, I got some hair rollers for when I want to almost like blow dry my hair or... Um, what's it when you just like do it with straighteners and then put it in these or even if I just comb my hair in general I'll put these in and to go with that I got two sets of clips to like clip my hair in so that's just something I wanted to try I just got some normal clips as well just in case those ones don't work because I wasn't sure if they would like really for that but look how cute this is so um, I struggle when I'm doing my um, makeup, skincare, I just get it all in my hair and I could use a hairband like this but I do not want to get any makeup on it just because I do wear it through the day when I'm not, I don't just use it for my makeup. I wanted one specifically for skincare and makeup and I got this little stitch one, it's pink and it's just got like pink stitches on it. So I thought that was cute. And then I just got some cotton pads. That's what I actually initially went in for. And the brush. And then in Superdrug, it was free for two. So I basically got one of these for free. Um, I just got some, like a soap styler for my eyebrows. Because I just wanted to try out soap brows. But I just got a clear one, I'm pretty sure. Because there was a coloured one. It doesn't actually say and I couldn't open the package. So we'll see. And then just got some two concealers. Because these are the concealers I got years ago. And they never failed me. And they're really cheap as well, like five pounds each. Um, and I got them in a lighter shade because I always get my concealer in a dark shade. Not a dark shade, but like it never brightens my under eye. Um, I'm just gonna open this because I actually wanna see the layout of it. I think Revolution is such a good drugstore makeup product. Not makeup product, makeup brand. Um, and they're pretty much the only drugstore along with NYX that I really enjoy. So it's got like a little spoolie, like the soap gel on the top there. I have decided to take my makeup off. And if I want to put it back on later, then I'm going to put it back on later. I'm not really too bothered. But let's be real, I just want to try all my stuff out. Yeah. See, that is so good because it's tight, comfy, and it works well. Okay, so let's take this makeup off. I brought down this lush one. Is, I actually bought it for Harrison, but... Um, he doesn't use it as much anymore because he's been using the CeraVe one like religiously on his face. So I thought I'd just nick a little bit of this. It is the Kazamazu face wash from Lush. Um, I might just put some on my face like that. Sometimes I think and wonder why do people watch me? Like why do people like, actually like click on my videos? And then I am like realization moment oh that's what i wanted to speak to you about actually so didn't have time to speak in a car because i didn't actually want to make this whole video a drive with me like i just wanted to let you guys know how personally i've been feeling how normal these feelings are how everyone feels like them because i feel like my youtube channel is almost like like almost like a little diary of mine like i know everyone sees it i know everyone can from school i know people i don't like can see it like i really don't agree to be honest 
But I just like to be real with everyone. I don't want to come across as like, oh my god, my life's so perfect. I'm so happy all the time. Like, that is so not the case. Like, on Saturday, everyone was going out. And I wasn't well anyway. Like, I've been on placement all week. I was absolutely knackered. But I know for a fact, if I was up to going out, I probably would have gone out. But one, at the moment, drinking for me is just not it. I really, I'm really struggling with finding the enjoyment with drinking. I'm actually considering just not drinking for a stop at all. Maybe like the odd like cider or like cocktail in summer is like as far as I'm gonna go. It's just not my thing. And, but going out and having to explain to people why you aren't drinking, because if like, if I went out and didn't smoke, people don't really press you to smoke. But if I went out and didn't drink, and people would be like, why not drinking like oh boring why not drinking because i'm guilty of it in the past when people haven't been drinking i've been like why are you not drinking but realizing when people don't want to drink to let them just not drink because some people just don't want to i'm really struggling at the moment with trying to fit in whilst not drinking because all my friends do go out and drink a lot and I feel like I can't go because I won't have fun because I'm not drinking and everyone else is. On Saturday, I cannot tell you, like, I was, I was honestly having some sort of mental breakdown. Convinced myself that, like, oh my god, like, how, why do I look like this? Like, I've always been quite a confident, confident person. But I feel like inside, sometimes, quietly, I can be quite insecure. But I'm also not insecure because sometimes I have days where I'm like, why are you insecure? Like, this isn't like stupid like you have one life do not spend it worrying about your body about your image anything on that specific day i was just like oh my god like i feel awful of myself i was looking in the mirror being like i just physically cannot be seen like this like i did my whole makeup to go and just get some food because i felt like i just want to like lift myself up a bit and then just completely wiped it all off and was like i don't want to go didn't like my outfits didn't like the way i looked didn't like my hair it was just horrific like I know it sounds like such like a minor inconvenience, but like when I have days like that, honestly, I don't even sleep because I'm, I don't know why I'm so anxious when I go to sleep because I'm like, I've got stuff to worry about when I down and like I could not sleep for the whole weekend. I just felt really down in myself, which is such a shame because I'm not saying I'm the prettiest person ever because I'm not, but I'm not ugly and I do look at myself like now, I'm like, oh, I look quite nice. But when, when I have days like that, it completely just knocks my confidence. Like, everyone has days, and I just wanted to, like, say that you're not alone when you feel like that. You have one life. I do not want to spend my life worrying about the way I look or the way people perceive me. Like, I know I'm a nice person. So, I just wanted to say that because if you're having a day like that today, if you're watching this feeling like, oh, I don't feel very good in myself, you are beautiful, I know you are. I'm going to be doing a little bit of skincare because when I tell you, I have branched out my skincare like so much since Christmas. My skincare is on next level. It's not the best. I'm not going to sit there and say I'm the skincare guru, but for me, this is a dream because skincare has become honestly one of my literal favourite things. So I think we're going to start off because we've washed our face already using that Lush face wash. Um, I'm going to use the ordinary hyaluronic acid which i've been loving i look i only got this at christmas time and look how much i've used already so i'm gonna have to restock on this once i've used it all but i use a generous amount you meant to put this on once a day before any other creams that go on your face so that's why i just put a full pump on but I just make sure that's nice rubbed in. but i had my eyebrows waxed again the other day like i've started to like get them waxed every like three to four weeks and it's only like seven pound but i feel like i'm just gonna keep doing that because my eyebrows are as you can see very hairy because i'm dark and then after that i think i'm going to put on these under eye strips from pixie i got this idea from abby may off of tiktok and youtube i actually really enjoy watching she's my age and she goes to she does a lot of uni content basically and skincare content and she had these and i thought i'm gonna just put these on they do tend to just slide down your face but definitely use the tool it comes with because it's so helpful have i got two on here okay so now 
this is done. I'm going to leave them on for about 10 minutes. I'm going to put a bit of YouTube on my laptop. So these have been on for about 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes. I have opened a window, so I'm very sorry if you can hear a little bit of noise. It's not too noisy. So I'll just take these off. These are actually really good. You get so many. I think they're about £20. Now, if I hadn't have put my tanning drops on, which I use these ones, the Tropic Sun Drops Gradual Tanning Facial Serum or the Skinny Tan ones, these are a little bit less full on than the skinny tan. So if I'm like fully fake tanning, I use the skinny tan ones. I did that last night, so I'm not going to use that. I would normally put it on with my moisturiser, but I'm just going to moisturise for now. But I'm just using the ordinary moisturiser when I'm travelling or when I'm putting my tan on. If I'm just at home and I'm not putting tan on, I'll use the CeraVe moisturiser. I've got quite a big bottle of it, so I don't tend to take it around with me just because it's... I've got this and it's a lot smaller and it does the job. This is just a little bit thicker. I want one of those like face massages as well and one of the scalp brushes because I've got a hair oil which I put in my hair before I wash it and I just have to like do it with my hands and I hate doing it with my hands. Lastly, my holy grail. Oh my days. I mentioned it in my last video. Love it. I will continue to buy it forever. Villanese lip mask which is in berry fruits just i don't put too much on i feel like this is gonna last me ages which is really good as well so that's everything i do for skincare if i'm not using a face mask guys i'm so sorry this whole video has been like in the same spot but i have actually just been for a nap because i didn't feel too great i had a bit of a headache so i went for like a, an hour nap it's quarter seven and now i'm gonna do my makeup because me and chloe I'm gonna go to Black Mama's and I'm gonna go pick her up in my car just because I don't really wanna go to the town one. But yeah, I am sorry if this vlog is not really like a vlog, it's more just like me just chatting to you. So yeah, I did a QA and a the other day and I feel like I didn't answer as many questions as I kind of wanted to. Oh God. So I just wonder how all you've been. So just let me know in the comments. I've had quite a lot of DMs asking about questions. I've tried to apply to as many as I can. Not to be like, I've had so many DMs. I've generally had a lot of DMs asking, not even stuff that's gonna be like a two minute remark. Like I've been sending like big progress back to people helping, so I'm just putting my bracelet on. If any of you have any questions, or if I've missed your DM, just re-DM me, and I'll really try to get on top of my DMs. So this, right, the body shop, if you're watching, why have you discontinued this? It's the best cream ever, so it's a vitamin C, SPF 30 Glow Protection Lotion. I used this as my primer, and I'm literally, nearly out but i went back into the body shop about i went to the one in london went to the one here went to the one in leeds to see if i could find it and it's nowhere just put it on every time i put before my makeup just to make sure i have spf on my face i'm really upset so if anyone has any good like spf lotions let me know I, I actually hate the word lotion you know so after i apply that just gonna put my charlotte tilbury flawless filter i'm not gonna put loads on i'm literally just gonna dot a little bit around my face just to cover that redness because i do always have really bad redness on my cheeks and down here which never looks good and especially because i've woken up it's like 10 times worse but yeah with my drive with me i did the other day i didn't answer as many questions as i probably should have but because i was just finding them on my tiktok i didn't have loads on my tiktok and no one ever really fully responds it sounds so dead i'm aware this is the wrong shade by the way no one ever really responds when i like ask for questions so i kind of have to like really like find them or like elaborate a lot on like the questions that i do have which is a bit annoying because obviously i am a small youtuber so i'm not gonna get loads of questions when i ask them but i do enjoy videos like that so generally if you do have any questions either comment them on this video or follow me on instagram and i'll do a question box next time oh my god guys i forgot to do my soap brows I'm gonna do them now. I'm just gonna hang fire with everything else. Okay, so it's very rock solid. I have got like a good amount of water on it. More dramatic than I thought actually, in a good way. It's doing more than I thought. You know what, I'm liking it at the moment. When's that? I just need to sort this out. But that's what we're gonna go for. And I'm actually really happy with that. I like that a lot more than I thought. 
But now I'm just gonna use my concealer. I think I'm gonna use the lighter one only because I haven't got any tan on and my face is already looking a little bit too dark. So I've got C2 here. I have got C3 as well. I still can't remember what this is called. Like, what is that called? It's something like a dofa. You're probably gonna laugh at me because I know it's not that, but do you know what I mean? I need to put a little bit down here just because, just to stop my neck and my face are really contrasting, do you know what I mean? So far, so good. Ooh, I like that, okay. Now I'm gonna use my Charlotte Tilbury um blush i do really like this but i don't want to put too much on by the way guys i've really tried with this and i just cannot it leaves it almost like takes my foundation off underneath and it is just not good i'm just gonna powder i did forget to bring my i do normally have the powder puffs but i did forget them so i'm just gonna have to use a brush just got my revolution translucent powder this is also a really good powder before I do my bronzer, just through my crease, Too Faced throwback, this shade here, I just run through my crease, this is literally the most I ever do for eyeshadow. And then with the shade, with this one here, I just create a little wing and then I also do my freckles of it as well. <gasps> my camera's about to die. Right, I'm going to finish my makeup, put my camera battery on charge and I'll be right back because I don't have long till I have to go. I'm done and you know what? My hair went so good. I love space buns. It reminds me of when I was a kid and I just love it. So I know it's went all right. Those little bubble things are so helpful with that. If you have trouble doing it with like big bubbles, get those little elastic band thingies. I'm gonna go pick Chloe up now. I'm gonna go watch my car. This is the outfit, it's pretty chill. So I just got my Uggs on. Parachute pants, basic white top, coat. Um, just because it's only wag one, do you know what I mean? But I actually think I've made a bit of an effort because my hair, my makeup. I hate walking in the dark. I have just walked along like the main, main road though. Like I could have gone down like the quiet road and then I was like, you know what, absolutely not. It's literally only half seven. Um, but it feels a lot later. Oh my god, hi! Oh my god! Yeah. Yeah. Where are you going? Jesus, she's zooming off! Oh no. I'm looking at Oh god. What, oh my god, what Why is it like every like... Is it being a fire? Oh my god, it's literally being a fire. Why yeah. is there fire and stuff? Wait, I know where we are! Oh my god. Okay, go left, go left. Did you watch Love Island? Yeah. One yeah. thing, last night? Yeah, yeah. Oh my god, where am I going? Right, right. No, I actually, I, I did watch it last night, but I kind of wasn't watching it last night as well. I was furious. About Rosie. About Rosie. Things that I expected was... better for Sammy. I know, I used to like Sammy. Yeah. I was like, I grew to Sammy, and I was yeah. like, oh, but I actually quite like Sammy. So I'm back from my meal. I didn't actually film a lot of the meal only because me and Chloe haven't seen each other for like three months and I didn't want to sit there filming at all. I just wanted to actually just have a good catch up. Just about to film a TikTok getting unready with me. I actually post quite a lot on there now and relate it to what I post on YouTube. Lifestyle, vlogs, get ready with me's, daily lives pretty much. Went to co-op after just to get some snacks. I got some cinnamon buns, which is my favorite snack at the moment. Some bites and some jam tarts because jam tarts are one of those things that are like, I won't eat for ages, but I will eat that whole packet tonight, not even joking. So I've just filmed that video. I'm not actually really proud of it because I've just learned not to film stuff on my front camera for TikTok because it does not come out very well. But look at the state of my room. So I'm just gonna pop Love Island on and give it a tidy and I'm just gonna do a little bit of a time lapse. So hope you enjoy. I so it's the next morning last night i'm not even joking i just sat watched love island then went straight to bed i just wanted to make an outro for this video sorry if it didn't come across as vloggy if you do enjoy the more romanticizing uni like vlogs but i can definitely do that as well i can just do a mix of both i do enjoy doing them as well so i feel like i will try to mix it up but i just wanted to try doing more of a chatty vlog yesterday but that is generally just how my day played out i did not miss anything out i'm in my uniform 
because it's practical day and I did wake up a bit late like I was gonna do a little TikTok of me getting ready but then I just slept in I slept in so I'll do one next week I think I might do like a day in a life but my battery is flashing at me so thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in another video bye <laughs> Catching feelings, baby